Stogie T. Whoa, 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 what's good and welcome to the hip hop society where everybody's included. From the new wave to OG bars, we loving all the music. We about to revive hip hop straight from the gutter. I got a slogan over here, it reads uniting the culture. So sit with me and a couple spitting MCs. I'm about to do an interview with Stogie T. What's good, Stogie? <laughs> What's up, bro? Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for for being here. First of all, how you doing? Chilling, man. I'm good, man. Chilling. Thank Lovely you for stuff. Me, man. No problem, man. Respect. Thank you. So, got a couple of questions for you. No doubt. And let's just get straight into it. You are considered one of the best when it comes to lyricism and pen game. Your ability to piece together multi-syllable rhyme schemes, double entendres and, ha and hard-hitting punchlines is something only a select few MCs are capable of. Like seen in the opening song to Honey and Pain, where you contrast an array of topics like religion, love, science, pleasure, laugh, death and injustice. How does it feel for this aspect of your craft to be recognized by a body outside of hip hop when you were published in the American literary journal, the, Sub the Subterranean Quarterly back in 2006? Um, wow. Yeah, you know, look, I mean, those things are always kind of like, um, they're always, they're, they're great, you know, it's just like, it's dope to, 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 to be recognized for what you do, you know? Yeah. Um, and especially by a body that does that, that, that checks for like, uh, you know, literary prowess, right? Yeah. But honestly, for me, I'm always like, yo, um, you know, it doesn't validate nor invalidate what I'm doing. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's it doesn't, it doesn't I'll, give it I'll more credibility or lessen its credibility that, that let's say, um, you know, um, other rappers in the game don't have that thing you yeah. know what I mean? haven't been so yeah. you know it's it's kudos and i res respectfully you know appreciate the, the 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 recognition but um you know it it, it don't move the needle it's not the do all the end all the no, end of the no, you know all. that's dope that's dope what's up you, you used to perform at open marks at the club with yeah. the likes of pro kid and squatter camps who right. legends of the south african hip-hop industry and you're one of SA's first rap artists to perform your music in English, which was a clever strategy seeing that it got you global recognition and appreciation across the globe. I'm kind of interested to know how the local scene took to your choice in language. Was there any animosity from, say, the fans or even your peers in hip hop? Yeah, I mean, if you listen to an album by Squatter Cam called Cut and Join, right? One of the first things on the intro that uh, Sugar Smack says is, yo, we have to discover a South African sound. We're trying to find a South African. So there was already the, 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 the kind of the energy around early South African hip hop. And when I say early, man, I must, I must, I must stress that there were people like six or seven years before that moment, prophets of the city who were already doing this. So it's not like we were the first or anything. Okay, you know what I mean? Right. They, they existed yeah. uh, uh, before that, but in this moment, people were trying to create a very distinct South African identity for the hip hop, you know? Right. So Vanak kind of uh, uh, basically rapping in Zulu and our indigenous languages became a very important uh, form of expression for, 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 sure. for, you know what I mean? Uh, it was already happening in the clubs. It was already happening, you know, in the ciphers, you know? Yeah, yeah. So um, no one really frowned upon anyone rapping in English because everyone came from rapping in English. It was the Vanak thing was a was the evolution ah, where you see. go, you know what? I wanted to sound more like me. Mm, exactly. I wanted, but I didn't grow up. I didn't grow up speaking Zulu or you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah. So for me, it was like uh, okay, you're being more like you you like like yourself. You want to be more authentic to who you are. How do you and tap into your authenticity? Exactly. And so for me, it was like yeah, I'm gonna just I'm, I'm gonna just stay yeah, in my I'm lane. gonna stay in my lane. Exactly. <laughs> right, right, so right. you know, um, of course there were, there were, there was some friction when you know when people try to separate us, but because we all came from the same place, you mentioned the club, you know, everyone who you could mention came from came from a, a similar kind of space and we all knew each other so unless dudes were just being you know deliberately haters obtuse. yeah or haters exactly yeah. there's no way they could say nah this guy doesn't belong in the culture because what do you mean dude? Yeah, we're no, all here together exactly so. coming up together and exactly. like you said like exactly. if you're gonna be a hater like 
art expresses itself in so many different ways and if your your way to express it is in English and that's the best you can get out of your pen is yeah. by writing English dialect like absolutely man. and when you say global recognition you know it's not really because I rapped in English it's because because I was dope <laughs> you know yeah. I think I think there's a exactly. lot of people who rap in English who aren't. Yeah, you know I mean? think what I meant by that was like the yeah, access, the access exactly. Like if you're gonna, if you're rapping in Zulu, only Zulu speakers will understand you. I hear, I hear. Or Tanzanian, you're maybe a native. What do they? <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. I, yeah. I was born in Tanzania, but I'm not Tanzanian. I'm South African. Oh, okay. Yeah, fine, I was just born. Fine. There. Fine. Yeah. fine. Cool. All right. You connected with a couple members from the Mozambican band 340 Mills to form the group Tumi and the Volume, where you fuse jazz and hip hop with complex and politicized lyrics, like one of your first collabs you did in 2005 with Cincinnati born MC Mainflow, where you say the line, I mean business like racist systems where the slaves keep living and get raised for prison. Your ability to speak on current issues, be it political or social, in a way that captivates the audience as well as well as presents itself as immaculate poetry is second to none. Is this something that comes naturally to you? And how important is it to speak on these um, topics in music at a caliber of your level? You know, honestly, I, I, it, it's, it, it was all, it's all training, bro. It's all training. It's like work, you know, it's all work. Like, uh, I, f f there are, I've, I've, I've come across some natural rappers, some yeah. natural talents, guys who just kind of like, they take to it, you know, yeah. that their form is impeccable there. With me, everything had it was work, bro. You know what I mean? Um, you know, I, I'm able to get better because I work at getting better, you know? Yeah. If I discover a new style, I want to completely consume and eat it, you know? Yeah, that's, uh, that's I, You know, and, and this might be like an example for younger MCs. For me, like, you know, like when I first heard like Eminem, right? Yeah. For me, I couldn't relate to the messaging. I couldn't relate to what he was talking about. Like, you right. know, it was like a bit dark, you know, mm -hmm. but I completely consumed the form. You know what I mean? How he, I'm keeping it raw, illegal like Malik and Jamal, because I don't believe in the law, no, like, like I'm Steven Seagal, Seagal, right? Yeah. All that, that Cold. form, that form is impeccable to yeah, me. The cadence. Is exactly. Just, so, 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 so that's what I, that's what I, I took. Yeah. The, you know, I got your little son, you'll be receiving a call. I don't know about <laughs> that, you know what I mean? But I, but I, yeah. but I, but I, the form to me was impeccable. So, so I, I worked on it, you yeah. know, it's something that I worked on. Um, now the messaging is not something that I'm like, yo, I want to be the most, conscious rapper in the world no it's how i grew up it's this is what yeah, my true. mom gave me these books this is what you know what i mean i come from a home where my dad was lost to me at one yeah. you know what i mean like my mom was a political so this is just my my my, my, my Your every day yeah, yeah so that's dope that's, that's it, dope yeah. that's dope after great I'm success dope. with the volume the group disbanded in 2012 and you went quiet for a couple years you then rebranded yourself as stogie t you explained the motivation for this rebranding on Sway in the Morning. You killed that freestyle by, on the Nas beat, by the way. Can you explain for the viewers who maybe missed that interview what the significance of the rebranding is and the Stogie in particular? Yeah, you know, for me, I think um, I just felt a bit trapped by the, 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 this image and this brand that I built, Doom in the Volume or, or, or the, the solo stuff, the Doomy stuff, you know. Yeah. And I wanted to do other things and people wouldn't allow me, you know, they wouldn't, they, would, they, would, they were like, no, but that's not what do me sounds like <laughs> if I do a certain kind of song. So yeah. I just wanted to branch out and do a, a lot more things. For me, Stogie is, is another name for cigar and it just means, you know, I, I relate to how the kind of craftsmanship and, 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 and work ethic that comes into building a cigar, you yeah. know, from growing it, the time it takes to, the patience you know what i mean yeah exactly to like you know to the craftsmanship of actually just you know uh, uh, constructing a cigar you know all that um and also possibly i don't want to i don't want to tell the audience how to react but possibly even the way you consume you know my music yeah. I, I want you to be you know take your time with relax it, you with I mean? it listen focus and learn respect. from it absolutely respect that's yeah. dope stogie that's dope your catalogue is littered with classics like By Any Means of your self-titled album, 
classic projects like Music For My Good Eye, which is highly regarded as S one of SA's greatest hip hop albums from your volume days. You achieved all this whilst paving the way for some of South Africa's hottest talents at the moment, like Nasty C and MT, who also rap in English. How does the industry look to you, an OG who came up with the rise of the genre, contributed to it with your fantastic pen game and cadences? Are we in good hands? Yeah, I mean, um, how they see me, I mean, I, I still I still have their ear. I, 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 I'm able to speak to them. I'm able to, you know, to, to impart some advice. I'm able to collaborate with them. Uh, to me, that's, that's important, you know. Um, I, as much as I have my value system, you know, w what I like to do, my kind of hip hop, I've never really wanted to dismiss anyone else's. I've always just been like, yo, this is my value system. Uh, but I have time for people with others, yeah. you know what I mean? Exactly. I, I, that's why you, the, 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 the amount of people you mentioned, they don't sound like me, they don't rap mm, like me, you know what I mean? Styles. They got their own thing. So for me, it's like, I think we're in a good place as far as, as long as, you know, as long as, as long as people still rapping, as long as, you know, I, I know that people kind of get nervous when piano and, and other genres kind of mm. take off, uh, uh, you know, um, a step ahead as far as like the achievements and the success and the notoriety. But, you know, I think because it's a culture, you don't, you don't, you don't rate it like that, you know, yeah, you rate it according to like, and like rappers the impact come and it go has on people. And mm. Dope rappers come and go and dope stay and dope move on to piano and you can't there's always been new genres and there'll be always new be new hops in the yeah. industry so Absolutely. that's that's facts yeah you signed a record deal with Def Jam in 2021 however in 2020 you released some bangers namely Dunno Feet Nasty C and Animals featuring Benny the Butcher right. those songs are like constantly on my rotation I respect and Ma being a massive fan of Eminem and the teams he's put there at Shady Records to see a killer like Benny collab with a killer like Stogie <laughs> just made me such a, so proud as a fan of both of your music and seeing two like machines come together like that <laughs> and deliver what you guys delivered was Respect. incredible so what is the experience like working with some of the most elite talents in the in the game over the span of your career and Who's, who's been your favorite, if uh -huh. I may ask? Uh, you know, it's crazy. You, you, you always think about the features you didn't get, the features that got refused, uh -huh. the features that just didn't happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, the, those are always kind of like great you a little. But um, I'm, I'm greatly, like, you know, blessed to, to have, because to have, you know what it does, man? It just tells you, it, it, it says you're in the league. Yeah. It says you're in the league. It says you are, you're, you're part of, you know what I mean? Um, and especially if you can hold your own and also just, you know, make good music that yeah. people can still fuck with, you know. Um, but, you know, who's the, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't want to make anyone feel, you know. That's but, fair. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, Benny's a good one. Benny's a good one. Benny's a beast. Benny's an animal. He's like, I was a... Uh, I was in Paris with him now, you yeah, know, only, yeah, go, go, went, went to go check him out. And, and, and the nice thing is always when you have real mutual respect, yeah. that makes it a little bit more, you know what I mean? It's yeah, like, yeah, it's, yeah, it's okay, not like no one's doing anyone's a favor. Yeah, it's it like dope, you both yeah. like mess with each other's music Absolutely. and it's like dope, awesome, man. On your latest album, you have a track titled Nobody featuring Ayanda Gia, who delivers a powerful vocals that complement your verses and really delivers the message of the song. What advice would you give to someone who doesn't want to end up what you describe in the song as a nobody? Uh, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's about, that's, it's, you know, the song Nobodies is about, um, it's about poverty. It's about where we, yeah. a lot of us come from, you know, it's about, our, you know, poverty is, is, is not too far from wherever we are, you know, we might right. amount, a, you know, amass a little something, but, you know, you ever heard of black tax? Black tax, black tax is yeah black tax is like basically you know no matter how much you amass as as, as, as like me you know i still have like cousins i still have so from, from yeah, the, exactly from the, so you get taxed yeah, you know what i mean yeah, by, your, by yeah. your extended family so um no nah, it's just about you know how people and and and, and the stigma i think attached to poverty and attached uh you know i mean i think if you don't want to be like that i think you know Education is a good is a good way, but generally, I think 
hard work and you know Facts. come on man you know this yeah man. exactly <laughs> but i want to hear it from Stogie, the one you know right 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 yeah right, 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 yeah. And that's stuff. yeah it was adapted from a poem a poem um uh south american poem that i that i kind of really say loved, that, but i just kind of turned it into that's a, dope dude yeah. what is the name of the poem nobody nobody's yeah it's called oh, nobody's it's saying yeah, it's it's dope true. dope and I have one more question for you yeah as an arsenal fan how, how is our season looking impeccable uh, I feel like we overachieved um, there was no way we we're gonna win the league I think uh, but you know we're I think we're ahead of schedule or uh, progress yeah. wise but you know it's good to, to, to push an elite team like Man City you know yeah I mean if it wasn't for us they would have run away with it but come January Absolutely. So. Absolutely. I think I agree with you we've done so well and with the youngest squad in the league in for the them league, to man. push that for as long as they did and if we can keep them right yeah. they're, they're only going to get mean, into we just buried Chelsea last night I mean <laughs> Chelsea are Yo. Yeah, Chelsea looking horrible right now. Chelsea looking yeah, horrible. Terrible. Which is good for us. Them and Tottenham both down the drain. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Not London but, is red. Yeah. Anyway, Stogie, thank you Lock so up. much for, for joining me thank on the interview. Is this for me, man? What is that this, is for man? you. It's, uh, Respect, man. Yeah. Hundred percent. Respect. Hundred <laughs> percent. You can also take the cap. Uh huh. Is this this is customized now? Yeah, I see the stogie is. hat yeah. now with the stogie, it's, it's custom. and then this is your logo, right? Yeah, for Hip Hop Society. Respect, man. Respect. Hip Hop yeah. Society, man. Make sure to like, follow, subscribe, drop a comment if you enjoyed the episode. Stogie, where can they find you? Stogie underscore T on the gram and Stogie T on Facebook. Spotify, online. everything. Oh, yeah, you know yeah. where to get them. Anyway, peace out. It's been your boy Lunch, and I'll wear. As soon as the night.